Here we're going to tie a fly called the flash tail whistler. This is a pike, bass, peacock bass fly. First thing we're going to do is just get our thread started. We're going to take a large bead chain eye and we're going to put it almost all the way up to the front of the hook. I'm going to leave a little bit of room so I can tie off the fly at the end. And you can use lead eyes for this if you're going to tie a heavy one, but traditionally the large bead chain is used and that's where the fly also gets its name because this fly whistles. The bead chain makes a noise when you cast it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. And here we're going to tie our first portion of the tail, which is going to be some white bucktail. And this fly is meant to be fairly bulky, so I'm going to tie in a chunk of bucktail that's about the diameter of a pencil, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to strip out all the short pieces, guard hairs. I'm going to even up the, the butt ends with my scissors. That'll give me something here to tie in with. I'm just going to take that bucktail. I'm going to just bite down on it, tie it right in. roll it so it's right on top of the shank of the hook. I don't want it to be underneath. I'll wrap back on this just a hair. Nice wide profile tail. Next thing to do is to tie in the flash. And you can use a couple different colors. You can either use silver, which is traditionally what's used, or I use pearl. I just like the looks of pearl more so than the silver. If you're tying for pike or something like that, silver is always a pretty good bet. So you're going to take a very generous clump of flashaboo. I'd say probably about 30, 40 strands. We're going to take half of it and we're going to tie it in right in the half portion of the clump, right in the middle of it. I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to take the other portion. Double it over. I'm going to tie it in right on top of the shank. Just like so. Now when we trim it, we're going to want to trim it to be about an inch longer than your tail. Just like so. Now the next thing to do is tie in the overwing. For this I'm going to tie a red one, so I'm going to use red bucktail, but they can be tied in lots of different colors. Another common color is yellow. I'm going to take a similar size chunk, about the diameter of a pencil, maybe a little less. And I'm going to want this to be same length as the white portion of the tail, the white bucktail. So I just roughly kind of measure it out. I'll trim off some of the butt ends if I need to. I'm going to tie this in right at the front. And I'll secure it. Just like so. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the body 
or the gills. For this I'm going to use some chenille and I like to use a flashier chenille. I'm going to use a pearl core braid in red. I'm just going to tie that in. I'm just going to build up a little bit of a, a body here. Then you can capture it. Trim out the excess. Now we're going to tie in the collar, which is just going to be some red slapping. Actually, I forgot to tie in the, the sides. For this, we're just going to use a grizzly feather. It's going to be about the same length as the, the tails. I'm just going to tie that in on one side. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Try to tie them in so that they lay flat on each side. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the collar. I'm going to use a red or a hot orange, either one, piece of slap slapping. Now, once we have that tied in, we can use a pair of hackle pliers if that makes it easier for you. I'm going to take that piece of schlappen. With each wrap, I'm going to pull the fibers back so they lay back nice on the fly. Then you can capture the fibers. And I usually like to take a few wraps just to lay all the fibers back. Kind of grab them all with your hands if you can. And just lay down a few wraps. It doesn't have to be perfect, but. There we go. Then you can take your thread all the way up to the front. You can whip finish. And you have a whistler pike fly or peacock bass fly works great down in the Amazon for peacocks and also up in Canada for big pike also works on largemouth you can see it has a nice big profile pushes water when you strip it very effective good looking fly and then the finish you can take your super glue I always use my brush on zap a gap to finish off these large flies 
especially ones that have eyes. Just coat the head and all the thread. That'll help lock in those thread wraps and your material. Also help lock down the eyes. And that's all there is to a flash tail whistler.